Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and today I'll be showing you how to center align layers using GIMP. I'm using GIMP version 2.10.32 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. <laughs> Before I get into that guys, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 masterclass from beginner to pro photo editing on Udemy, or you can get access to additional content, including courses from Davies Media Design by becoming a DMD premium member. And I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. All right, so let's dive right in here. There are a few methods for accomplishing this task, which I will cover in this tutorial. There's also a few things that could come up while trying to center your layers, which I will cover as well. All right, so here we are in our composition. And as you can see, I have a bunch of layers in here and I have a bunch of layers that are purposely off center. So let's start off with the easiest method for center aligning layers in GIMP. And so what I'll do is I'll start off by hitting the Q key on my keyboard. And I can also come over here to my toolbox and just click and hold that first tool group and release my mouse on the alignment tool. And then I can left click on the layer that I want to align. In this case, we are aligning the layer that contains my logo. And if I come over here to the layers panel and I just scroll up, you're gonna see that this layer is at the very top of my layers panel. And it's also a pretty small layer. So this yellow dotted line is our layer boundary. So when the layer is selected by the alignment tool, you're going to see these little boxes here in the corner. Once that layer is selected, I can come over here to the tool options for this tool. Under relative two, I can select image. And then if I come over here and click align center of target, that's going to align this based on the vertical center of our image. Or if I want to align this based on the horizontal center of our image, I can click align middle of target. And then obviously clicking both of those options will align this to the exact center point of our image. So I'll hit control Z twice to back up. So control Z is the undo button. The other method for center aligning on here is by using center guides. And I can create guides by going to image, guides, new guide by percent. So the direction will set to vertical, the position set to 50 and click OK. So we have a vertical guide for a horizontal guide. I can hit control shift F set this to horizontal, click OK. Now we have a horizontal guide. So if I hit the M key on my keyboard, that'll grab my move tool. You can also grab that over here in the toolbox, same group as the alignment tool. So just go with the move tool. Then what I can do is click and drag my mouse. If I hold the control key while I drag, it'll drag it in straight line mode. And then the little crosshair in the middle of my layer will snap to that guide and now it's center aligned. Again, I can drag this up and it'll snap to the guide. Now it is center aligned. If it's not snapping to the guide, just go over here to view and make sure snap to guides is checked. So for this example, everything was super easy because the object is nice and centered in the layer and the layer is at the very top of the layer stacking order. However, let's hit control Z to back up I'm going to keep this right here so it's centered on the vertical center along the bottom of our composition. So let me once again hit the Q key to grab my alignment tool. Let's say I wanted to align this text that says align. If I were to left click on this text, you're going to see it's not going to select the layer that contains the text. It's going to select the entire composition or at least that's what it looks like because these boxes are now along the outer edge. Well, what's actually happening here is there are a few layers that are the size of the entire composition blocking this layer. So actually those layers are going to be these arrows. And if I come over here to the layer stacking order, I've got this layer group and this layer group contains all my arrows. And each one of these arrows is on its own layer and the layer happens to be the size of the entire composition. So because this layer group is on top of the align text layer, it's basically blocking the align tool from selecting this. So one way I can select this layer when that is happening is I can click and drag to create what's called the rubber band feature and then release my mouse. 
But one other problem is that this layer boundary is not where I'm selecting. So you have to do this rubber band feature over the entire layer boundary. So if I come back to the layers panel and I click on my align layer, you can see the boundary is a little bit wonky here. So what I have to do is click and drag over the entire boundary and now that will select this layer. So if I were to come over here to the tool options and click align center of target, now that's nice and aligned to the vertical center of our composition. The issue though with this layer being the size that it is, is that if I try to align this to the horizontal center, it's not gonna be properly aligned because there's more room on the bottom than there is the top. So for example, if I click the align middle of target option, you could see it goes a little bit too far up. So let's hit control Z to back up. What I can do to fix that is I can go to layer, crop to content. That's gonna crop everything down to the pixels inside the layer. Now I can use the rubber band feature a bit more predictably. And also when I go to align this, it's going to be properly aligned. And I actually don't want that being aligned like that, so I'll hit Control Z. We're gonna leave it right here. But let's cover another example. So we have this layer right here. It's actually a text layer, and it says layers. So once again, you would think you could just click and drag and select that layer, but it doesn't quite work. So if I come over here to the Layers panel and I click on that layer, you'll see the layer is a bit wonky once again. The reason for that is if I hit the T key to grab my text tool and I click on this text layer, this text layer has some kerning applied to it, which means the layers or the, uh, I'm sorry, the letters are spaced apart from one another. So if I were to double click on this to select all of my text, and then I set this to zero, hit the enter key, that's what this normally looks like. But when you apply kerning to this in GIMP, sometimes it adds spacing to the front of that and it screws up the size of your layer. So once again, the way we can fix that is we can go to layer, crop to content, that will discard the text layer information, so now it's just a normal layer, but the upside to that is now the layer properly fits the lettering. And now when I hit the Q key to grab my alignment tool, I can then click and drag and release my mouse, and then come over here, and when I use the align center of target, it will be properly center aligned. Let's hit Control Z to back up to before we resize the layer. If I were to try to align this with the layer at this size, it wouldn't properly center align because there is extra room right there. So that's just an added benefit of going to layer. Crop to content is that when I now click to align this, again, we'll use the rubber band feature, center align, it will properly align it. So for the last example, we have our text box here. So I have my move tool enabled right now. So let's say I wanted to center align this. So I click and drag my object and I go to center align it. The problem right now is that the size of this layer is the size of the entire composition. So it's not the size of the text box right now, which means if I look over here, you can see the crosshair that indicates the center of this layer. And that's not gonna snap in the right place because right now it's already centered up because it's the size of the entire composition. So what we'd wanna do again is we'd wanna crop the layer down to the size of the object here. So what I could do to select this layer is Alt middle click with my mouse. That's going to select the text box layer over here in my layers panel. However, you'll see that the layers text still has the yellow boundary around it. So what I have to do now with the move tool still selected is just left click on that layer and now it's going to show me the boundary for that layer. Now what I can do is go to layer crop to content, and that's going to shrink the layer size down to just the pixels inside the layer, which in this case is going to be my text box. And now I can click and drag this with the move tool. If I hold the control key after I click, it's gonna drag it in straight line mode. And you'll see the crosshair is now in the right place and it'll snap to the guide and I can release my mouse. Let's hit control Z to back up. I can also hit the Q key on my keyboard to grab the alignment tool, click and drag, to use the rubber band feature and select this layer, and then come over here and click Align Center of Target. 
All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.